Well, hello there. Welcome to my channel where we review, stream, and pretty much it. I'm gonna be honest here. I started doing this because I was so bored during quarantine. I was like, I'm gonna put out a YouTube video. So if you're asking about my first video, I specifically put it there and I call it YouTube farming. I swear it's um, nothing like view fishing. I'll explain it more in a YouTube video. It's for an experiment. So anyway, let me start reading my strip, because today we're talking about YouTube comments. YouTube, am I right? You probably want to be a YouTuber. Everyone does. But there's some people that just want to leech off YouTubers' comment section. So I'm going to show my example. So first, let me type, you know, how to be, how to be a YouTuber on YouTube, yeah? And click on it edit out the ad and scroll down to the juicy comment section and while I go sub to my channel guys you're probably gonna see that and look there's one right there like come on man have some dignity have you even watched the video the video literally explains how to become a youtuber and it, the video probably said not to like um, sub beg uh, well I haven't even watched it either but it's not about me it's about you I bet if you scroll in the newest section, I would find a ton of sub beggars, like a ton. So if you're one of them, if you're a sub beggar, just listen here. Put your ear closer. Put the phone closer to your ear. Stop sub begging. If you want to be a successful YouTuber, you can't only just have subs. You need to have people that subscribe and always watch your videos, not just trading subs, because they're not going to watch your videos. You aren't going to watch them either. Here's some advice. Listen closely, guys. This is like crucial advice if you want to be a successful YouTuber. You need to be a drug dealer. Wait, wait. Don't click out yet. My term of drug dealer on YouTube is just a normal YouTuber. He provides that content, or in the real world, drugs. Don't do this, kids. I'm using it as a metaphor. You don't want to become the consumer. You got to be the dealer. Or the producer. You gotta get that money. You don't wanna spend that money. Uh, an example is PewDiePie. He's a drug dealer. Cause he like posts content and people are always coming back to get that sweet, sweet content. Or in real life scenarios, drugs. So in conclusion, if you wanna be a successful YouTuber, you have to be a drug dealer.